colors today are yellow shimmer mica, lime green mojito mica, emerald green, and purple galaxy, and a little bit of titanium dioxide in the part of the batter that will be white. This is uh, titanium dioxide for oil. And our fragrance is called Christmas Wreath. Hi everybody. I am now going to start mixing up winter. Now let's check the temperatures. Our lye water is 105 Fahrenheit. And our oils are 96. So that's fairly close. Nothing's too hot, nothing's too cold. I'm going to use my hanger swirl, which is literally a hanger. And um, what else? I'm going to pour this. I want to have uh, the look inside. I want to be a suggestion of like pine needles, sharp, sharp design. So I'm going to pour it so the colors are all up, mostly on one side. And then I'm going to pull the hanger through to make what I hope will look like tree or pine needles. So I have my colors all mixed up here in some grapeseed oil, setting aside here, and the titanium dioxide, I'm going to add dry and mix in the larger container. So let's get to work, stick blend this up, and I'll see you back here, I'm going to play some music, uh, I will see you back here when we are piping it. And then also, oh, and we're cutting it. And I'm only, this is actually a first time ever um, that I have had an order for an entire loaf. So this is exciting. Uh, two boys got winter soap for Christmas and they loved it. So their mom is getting them an entire loaf. So what we're going to do is cut half the loaf and leave the other half uncut. So the kids can see the concept of how the soap is made in a loaf. And you can't see much of me there. So we're going to cut half of it and leave the other half uncut. So the children can see the concept of how soap is made in, in a loaf. You know, I'll, I'll wrap it so it's a whole loaf, but some of it's cut for mom. So um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, otherwise, it's a lot of work for mom to cut every slice. So there's half and half we're going to do. All right. And it's very similar colors to the one that they got for Christmas. Similar design. So I hope they're going to be happy, boys. This soap is going to last them all year. And it'll be good childhood memory for them. Of that time they got this huge, huge chunk of soap. And uh, who knows, they might end up making soap in their home after this. The kids will be interested. These boys might be future saponifiers.
Okay, so I'm ready for the hanger. I'm going to go straight down on the white side, and you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, but underneath, I'm lifting up a little bit from the bottom, going over to the color side, the purple and the green and the yellow, and then coming up about a centimeter over, doing it again, doing it again, doing it again. So I'm hoping to get some spikies, like this is a tree. There, I won't overdo it. Whatever we got is what we got. I don't want to make it mucky or lose any sharpness in there. So this is it for the main portion of the soap. Now I'm going to mix up the batter and I'll be back and we'll just pipe the top super pretty. I'm here the next day to cut my winter soap. I'm going to show you the loaf. It has cured up really nicely. Mmm, it smells good. I'm in a different spot than usual today because my cupboard, my uh, countertop, is just covered in bath bombs and sugar scrubs. So, <laughs> they're, they're curing a bit before I package them. Uh, I'm running out of room to do anything else. So, I'm at my kitchen table. I almost forgot, I'm only cutting half of this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bars, that's half the loaf. I forgot, goodness. Little boys, would have been a huge mistake. I want them to see the concept of the soap loaf. So I'm cutting six bars and leaving half the loaf for them to cut with mum, for them to watch mum cut, I should say. I tightened up my harp cutter. Last time I used it, I noticed I had some scrapes from the guitar strings on my soap. Oh, pretty. This is exactly what I want. See the sharp lines to me remind me of pine needles. And I purposely introduced purple this time because last time it came from a color that morphed and I, and I liked it. So, <laughs> see, accidents can do good things for you. Very happy with the winter soap. I think these boys will like it too. It's not identical to their last one, but it's the same fragrance. Oh, I'll show you that one again. I like that swirl. I think I'll do this design and some other soaps. It worked out well. So the trick was I had my mold on an angle to get all the green on this side. And meanwhile, the white was really thickening up. So when I needed it to, I spooned it in and it stayed in place. And then the hanger in to make the swirls. Don't overdo it with the hanger. It turns, or it turns kind of just muddy looking. I like sharp lines. That is it. And so I'm leaving the rest of the loaf uncut. Hope you enjoyed watching me make winter soap and I'll see you next time. I hope that you have a very good day and a good week and take care of yourself and those around you. From me and Bailey, goodbye. See you in the next video.